Okay, back to refretting this Stratocaster, and there's a new little piece of equipment out here, this red thing here. What's that? It's just a press. Again, I'll tell you all that I'm a fan of the hammer. I've been hammering frets most of my life. This hammer here. The one your dog chewed up. It's chewed by a dog that's been dead for 25 years. <laughs> that tells you how old this hammer is. What was his is. name? This is a very old hammer, but... Um, Anyway, it takes a long time to develop a technique with a hammer. I'm not so going to show you how to fret with a hammer. Thing instead? Yeah, I'm going to show you how to fret with a press. First thing you do with this fret, this is the fret if you've been watching. It's got all the new tangs in it. See that? And it's been made to the correct radius. It's made to, to the, the right correct line. radius. Okay. That fret's going to press in very nicely. All right. Say thank you to the camera. Thank you. Got just a little space under it. Okay. So. First thing I did was dip it in some alcohol. The fret. Wipe it down, yeah. Don't forget to do that. Because Why? it makes it all the grease off because of it. Because if you want a good sticks. cleated fret job, you want everything sealed up in that fret slot. When I put this glue in, not much is going to stay in there. Believe me, when that fret squeezes in there, the tiniest amount is going to be in there and it'll, it'll harden everything up and, uh, and, and, and get rid Fill of any, any gaps. Any air gaps, or even the smallest ones, okay? And uh, you Same. can use white glue. You can use tight bond. You know. Probably takes a while to develop that technique, huh? What technique? Just getting that tiny little bit of glue on there. Yeah. I'm not going to show you all 22 frets on this neck, okay? So, okay, put, so you put, don't put that camera that close. You're not going to see anything that close. Okay, you put right. a little bit of glue on there, wipe yeah. it off. Now, the other thing you got to do is you got to set up the proper um, radius. I got a nine and a half in here, and you see here they are. There's all different sizes, okay, that you're going to need. To do different radiuses. So different guitars, okay, different back. radiuses. Yeah, different okay. radiuses, you know, for different guitars. Okay, hope I can help people are seeing this. Okay, so you get it all lined up on top of there, and yeah. then squish, squish, and then push down and hard. I'm put the screws to it myself, you know. How and hard do you got to push? Pretty hard. And you could use a hammer for that instead, but that would be more laborious. Huh? Using a hammer would be more work, take longer. Well, I, I could show you how to hammer a fret in right now, but I, I'd have to totally reset everything up because because it's, it's a different... Oh, uh, well, maybe a different video. You need your neck we'll sitting in a different thing. Okay, so is it in there good enough? Well, you check your seat. Seat is very good. And then you wiped the excess glue off, I yeah. saw. Yeah, you just use some water. Wipe the excess glue off. And squish it down again to make sure it's in there good. And after the glue flashes off a bit. Oops. Just leave it. Imagine that glue builds up on the edge of that thing too. Well, it's got like a groove in it to hold it. Yeah, like yeah. Well, we don't care about this glue here because when you file it off, that glue come off. Don't bother trying to wipe that off. Okay, so just the glue that's on the front part. Yep. Nice. All right, so fret number one is in. Yeah, I'll so show you one, one more, more, and then we can. And then that'll be one. it. As soon as I put the handle back on my. You've had that thing for a while, huh? Yeah, I, I use this on less expensive guitars. I mean, I think it was over by. I think it's on the rug. Obviously, if I'm going to fret a fifty thousand dollar vintage guitar, I'm going to use my hammer. But so you think a, a better result is? No, no, it's not a better result. And 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 and, and I, you know, obviously. So what I'm saying is, it ain't going to come out any better because I know how to use a hammer and someone else doesn't. It doesn't matter. What it is is, it's that. It's that this is this is phys physically easier, okay? So for me, it's like you know I like guitars. And this is a less expensive fret job, anyway. Yeah. Sort of. I like guitars, so if I got a really nice guitar, I'm I, I don't want to beat myself up a little bit on the labor. Big deal, you know. Um, I'm not going to want to do it on this, but I'll go for the more labor-intensive fret install on the very expensive guitar. 
I need to find the end of my thing there, but you gotta be careful at the risk of time, it. I'm not going to do it right now. You, you're really pinching me in with that oh, camera. Sorry. I can't work. Okay. You have to find another angle. Maybe back here. I was just trying to get in the light, so I can see what you're doing. I understand that. Okay, so you line it up and start working on it. I'm gonna put my thing in. Okay, hold on. Obviously, if you're not filming it, you'll be paying more attention to what you're doing. Well, this is just kind of an off-the-cuff thing. I thought it'd be kind of cool since you were doing a fret job to get a video of them. Again, just a little bit of warm water. Get the massive amount of yeah, clean it good out here. You don't time. want to deal with this when you're done, okay? Oh, to try to get dried glue. Because yeah, when I clamp this neck, not no, almost nothing's going to come out because those are seating so beautifully. See, so now this this neck you wouldn't have to technically clamp this neck up, but I clamp every neck I fret. Okay, so what I do is when I'm done with all these frets, well, we'll right? show that after you're done with that little we'll we'll, like the next video. Yeah, maybe. But what what hap what would happen is after all these frets are in, okay. I would then take my large radius, which matches the radius of the fret job, put it over the frets, and I would clamp it down tight, all the way down, okay, and then let this glue dry for two or three days and harden up good, okay. Then I'd take it out of the clamps. You get a perfect seat like this. You really technically don't need to, but it it's it How doesn't hurt to do it. How long does the glue take to it. It dry hurt. before you can clip it and do all the filing and stuff? Well, I mean, you can do it the next day, but I mean, I, I like to let it sit for a day or two. Especially you know. put water on it. Sometimes I'll let them sit for a week, depending on the guitar. But um, I mean, when I learned to do fret jobs, I went to work at, at a at a large, um, very very busy repair shop, and there was a guy that was sort of a sort of the rock star guitar repair guy Who in that, that city. I don't want to mention his name, but. Um, I'd already been He's doing probably dead now. plenty. Of, well, I know he is, but I'd already been doing a lot of fret jobs, and uh, and he, and he said, "Let me show you how we do fret jobs here. I don't care how you do them at your place, but here we make money." And I mean, he he glued those frets in, and when he was done hammering them in, he started cutting them, and I was like, "Not to even let the glue dry." No, I mean it was like the worst fret job I'd ever seen in my life, and I thought. Well, I hope nobody watches me work because I ain't gonna work like that, you know. And um, but you know, so everybody has a different method. But I leave it in the clamps at least twenty four hours. You yeah. Know? Well, I mean, the reason people come to you to do their stuff rather than somebody else is because you do the job that you do, right? Right. So, yeah. and you do what? You what think I should have done was set guitar. up to show you how to actually hammer a fret in while I was doing this. Well, but, we can do uh, another one for that. But it's it's. Uh, it, it requires clamping and, and a lot of stuff to have the neck in the right position. You can't just have the neck free where you can just move it around like this. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's the good thing about this. But Well, these videos are, this video series is probably going to go kind of long because right. you, there's a lot of process. But there's so. no real need for you to waste your time too much on that anyway. Probably most people aren't going to use a hammer anyway. That's They're going to use saying. this sort yeah. of a device, yeah. this press device. Right, exactly. And, and, and you can get a much better press than this, but you don't need it. All you need is that. That that, that that's good enough. Basic. To press a fret in with the different sizes so that you can match yeah. the radius. I've of got your very guitar large heads. presses out out in the uh, shop where I, you know, press bearings and stuff into motorcycle engines and stuff. But you know, for for frets, you don't need any of that. All that's adequate. That. That's that's more than adequate. Looks you like know. a relatively inexpensive item, and then you have to have that thing that holds with the cork and the wood to make it so it sits right in the back what thing this thing yeah the thing sitting on yeah you can make anything like that you did want. you make that one yeah I think so a long time ago I don't even remember but but I, I use this because it has a little crushability underneath it so it gives a little bit you know so you're gonna do one more no no you'll see some people do this before they do that you'll see some people go like that make sure know. it stays in place but you know very lightly but you can or not you'll figure it out you know I mean what works for you I'm showing you the, the... What works for most people is probably having someone else do it for them. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you want to you play the guitar, not... See, stuff like this, this is why you'd want a better press, okay? The, the rubber thing fell off and I don't have the time to go look for it, so... You know, I will before I do another fret on this neck, but I'm just showing you. 
And normally I would tilt this and set this all up for the right. Well, it looks like this Get is... the camera right on there. Watch that glue come squirting out. Squirt glue out. Okay. Can't be a weakling to use a press. You got to put a little on it, you know. It can't be 98 pounds. You can't be the guy that lets everybody kick sand in your face at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to be Arnold or anything, but look at the seat on that fret. I mean, I can't remember to get the angle there. It's here. it's dead on. That was just I. My guess on the amount of cleating was perfect because this fret now. Right? That's from doing so many. You yeah, let me just find something made out of metal. It. This fret now really ringing into that neck. When that glue's dry, it'll be even more so. You know, you don't want those frets loose. You just don't want them. The glue isn't what holds the fret in. It's the cleat that holds the fret in. The glue just seals up any air. And don't go trying to clean. Don't worry about cleaning that up because when you cut these, that's just going to come right off when you cut it. That, that really doesn't stick to the finish as much as you might think it does. Okay, that when we get done, we'll show you clamping, but we, you don't need to. Okay, so we're done with here. Yeah, with so don't, the... don't forget to clean. Now, why are we doing this with the alcohol? Why? Because you want the glue to stick as good as possible. Yeah, and what's on the fret? Grease. Something. There's from some kind of shit they put on this fret wire that makes it go through the machine easier. Cosmoline and from your hands or something. And handling it stuff oil too, any or something. Dirt. And it, that takes literally 20 seconds. seconds to do. So just do it. Save yourself the trouble of. Uh, worrying about it so that that alcohol doesn't get on the inside of the fret wire or is it inside solid or is it hollow by the time i get this glue in here and set it it's all done it's 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 all dried off into the air you can wipe that or not it doesn't matter you're going to wipe it after anyway so this time you're not going to wipe it right okay so this is the last one the last one we will show i think you better use a little hammer in there sometimes you might need to i think you do on that one Normally I wouldn't be in this position. I'm trying to leave her room for the camera, so. So you give it a little too Never long enough to bend the fret with that hammer. That hammer is, even when you're using a hammer from the beginning, it's, it's a very delicate uh, uh, situation. Okay, see that? There's going to be a lot of glue squishing here. Because you didn't wipe it off. I'm going to seat that suck really good. Now there's glue everywhere. Yep, but watch this. A little bit of water on that. And that's seated so good, none of that water's going down in there. That's tight now. There's no space for anything in there. Right. So you've done four and only 18 left to go? Again, look at that seat. No, the seat is there. You want to see it from here. Yeah, right there. All, okay. all four of them look really good. Perfect. I mean, okay, so say goodbye and we'll come back with the out. next one.